Using shortcuts to navigate and modify your code is key for being an efficient developer. I'm Bilal from Omniref.com here, and in this video I'll show you my favorite shortcuts for both Writer and Visual Studio that I use for Unity. So let's get into it. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the shortcuts that I use the most in both Writer and Visual Studio. So I have a list here, and I'll just kind of go through them. So the first one is this delete line hotkey. So I have mine set to shift plus delete or shift plus backspace on Windows. So I'm just going to go ahead and navigate to where that is. So if you actually search the name of this, which is delete line, this one over here, set to shift plus delete on that. So if I hit escape and I shift delete a line, and no matter where I am on that line, the entire line goes away. So I find that pretty convenient. Okay, so for the next one, it's the next method hotkey, which I'll just show you what that does. So if I hold down alt and I hit up, then it'll jump between functions here, which is particularly useful if these are unfolded. So I'm gonna quickly unfold some of these and show you how easy it is that I just like cycle through these by holding alt and pressing up or down. So you kind of just navigate really quickly. Fortunately, in text editors, that's often not available, but in Visual Studio and Writer, you can definitely use this. Okay, so my next one is this search everywhere command. So in search everywhere, which first I'll show you, if you search in the key map here, search everywhere. Then there's this one called search everywhere here in other. And it's basically like Spotlight on Mac or what the Windows hotkey does on Windows. It just opens up this menu where you can instantly type anything and it'll bring you instantly there. So if I decide that I want to go to a script called item, instead of having to like look through here and click somewhere, I can just hit Command T and type an item and enter and then I'm there very fast. So I recommend using this for uh, the entirety of managing, uh, or sorry, navigating to your files in your Unity projects. So it's definitely a very, very common one that I use. The next two are select next and previous tab. Um, and I have mine set to command uh, slash control on Windows and then alt and right. Um, and those are the arrow keys, right? So I have one, like six tabs open here. So if I want to navigate like left to them, I'll hold down option and command, or I guess alt and command or control, and I'll hit left to cycle in this context menu left and right. So the item one is positioned to the left of inventory, so it goes there. It's nice if you have, like if you're working on, for example, I was working on crafting. If I have five windows open on crafting, I can quickly just cycle between to get to the right one without having to type in the name of it, and it's pretty fast to use. The next one over here is add selection for next occurrence, and I have that to command on Mac, control on Windows, and then D. Right, so what that will do is actually, it's, it's two things. One, it means it selects a word, and two, it will select the next occurrence, or it'll add the next selection of that occurrence of the word in the document. There are two ways of using this. So if I put my cursor on this active label color and I hit Command D, you'll notice that it highlighted the entire thing. If I hit Command D, it'll find the next occurrence. You can also do it this way. I can actually just highlight, let's say I just highlight the word label, I hit Command D, notice it's selecting every next occurrence every time I hit Command D of the word just label. How this works is if you have something highlighted, it'll select the next highlight of that. If you have nothing highlighted, but you have a word under your cursor and you hit it, it'll first highlight that word and then it'll go find every word of it. So it's very useful if you want to find everywhere that something is or if you want to edit every occurrence of something without refactoring it, then it goes everywhere. So just something to keep in mind. So the next one is declaration, which really what that does is navigate to the declaration. So that I have on command slash control plus shift plus D. So on Mac, if I, let's say I have this activate function and it gets called somewhere, and actually I'll find somewhere where it's called. My activate function gets called here, right? Somewhere in this UI master script. I'm not sure where that is and I wanna go, you know, well actually I am sure where it is, it shows me, but I wanna go directly to there with just a shortcut. So I hit Command Shift D with Activate highlighted. It takes me right to where that's declared, and that's very useful because I don't, I didn't have to, you know, search. I didn't have to say, oh, it's in Inventory tab, and then I didn't have to search for, okay, well, what type is Inventory tab? And then I'd have to check. Well, it's a tab class, so let me go to the tab class. So basically, it's a lot faster um, by just directly going to that exact function you want. The next one that I actually just skipped and showed you is called Show Usages, and 
you can go into the key map here. I'm hitting command plus comma to enter preferences and just hit this key map tab. So I can type in here, show usages, and we'll see command shift R is what that is. Basically what that does is, you know, you go over activate, you hit command shift R, and then I see that it's being called in two different areas and it tells me here's the line number, here's the namespace, this is what that line of code looks like, and then UIMaster.ViewTrade interface is the function that it's being called in. You can do two things, obviously you can just navigate at right after hitting command shift R with the keyboard or you can click one. I navigate with the keyboard and I hit enter to go to it. I see that it's being called over here in trade tab.activate. Or if I want to go back to the declaration, command shift D. So it's pretty fast. The next one is rename, which is one of the refactoring uh, hotkeys. If I wanted to rename all usages of activate, I can hit command R on it twice, or I can hit command R and then R. If I wanted to do a new name, let's do activate new name. If I hit next, then it executes that refactoring, and then Rider will actually warn me for undoing that refactor. But what that does is rename it literally in every reference of it, not just in this file. So you can actually safely rename any of these functions and it'll work exactly the same unless you have it referenced in Unity, in which case it'll lose the function reference because it's binding. Anyway, if we look at the next one, it's show intention actions, which is it's alt plus enter. So what that means is it'll kind of give you a suggestion of something to do with a bunch of stuff, right? So it's this dynamic feature, so I'm going to highlight these three lines, I'm going to hit Alt-Enter, gives me some options of what to do, like refactor, etc. I'm trying to think of a good example, so let me see if I can highlight all these, hit Alt-Enter, there's a format selection. I'm not seeing a good option here, but basically one, one way that this is very good is you can hit Alt-Enter, it'll let you pull up the refactoring menu, right? So then you can extract a method, for example. So I use this pretty often for refactoring or extracting methods. The next one is collapse, and then after that is expand. What that means is it's actually under the folding menu, which is why it's like not very descriptive. Basically, you can see that I have these three dots here, and if I hit this here, then I fold it or unfold it or hit the three dots and then it also unfolds. What I did was I changed that to use control plus alt plus left and right respectively. And so if I press that, then it'll fold if I hit left and unfold if I hit right. It makes it pretty easy. I can just navigate to a function, fold it and unclutter my view. So those are the hotkeys and shortcuts that I use the most in both Rider and Visual Studio. Rider does a good job of pretty much showing all the same functionality in Visual Studio. If you don't know what Rider is, it's just a, it's a new IDE for C Sharp. Works pretty well with Unity and I recommend it. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.